Okay, then there's only one thing to do. Hello everyone, my name is Carvel and welcome back to an episode of 7 Days to Die. I'm just before the next horde night and I want to show you guys something cool. I've added a new mod, uh, it's improved hordes experimental. I'll put the link with the rest of the mods in my description. But what it does is it adds hordes randomly around the map. They're just like lots of zombies everywhere. Brilliant. It's very hectic as well. So I've tweaked the settings a bit. I've fiddled with it. I uh, hope it's still playable. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just want to show you some of that and do some questing and running around. Uh, heading up to the next episode, which will be the next horde mine. Yeah, please do like if you enjoyed the videos. Leave some comments, tell me what you think. And if you haven't already subscribed, now it's time for seven days to die with our new experimental hordes. Okay, let's get you on here. Uh, not too much has changed back at home base. So I do want to show one thing. I've, <laughs> even though it's not really useful, I've set up rows of chairs whenever I pick up chairs for people to watch what happens when the horde knife breaks down. But I mean, you can't do that. Even if you were in a multiplayer server, then if you did that, then people would be attacked by the zombies. So I have added in my electric fencing across the running area here. And I've put in two blade, um, I don't know what you call, blade towers. So they can slice things up in those two locations. And I've just put a whole bunch of spike traps everywhere. And yeah, here's my, my viewing deck. <laughs> I'm still busy completing it, but it's getting there. And uh, one thing that you might not have seen is I extended my uh, farm, my upstairs farm. Just built it out a little bit. Here we go. Got, I'm growing a lot of blueberries at the moment. I want to make a lot of uh, smoothies, the yucca smoothie. Got lots of yucca, but I don't have lots of blueberries. So I need to get those growing so that I can actually make them. Uh, let me just give a little bit of sound there for this game. There we are. Alrighty, now did I empty this thing out when I got back? Ah, no I didn't. Okay, I quickly just need to empty this out from the last run that I did. Keep the fuel in there, and I just want to lock in my 12 items. See, this this inventory mod lets you lock those first 12, because I choose 12. So when I filter, or sort, then it doesn't sort those, it keeps them where they are. And I like that. That's very cool, like that. Uh... Now, because I don't know what goes where, this lovely button is so useful to just automatically sort your stuff and just chuck it in the places it needs to be. Uh, by salt, you don't have to worry about it. Just throw things at it. There we go. Anything for you, you take it. Any metals, they can go there. Uh, mods are any things that don't work because it's one mod into one um, block. It doesn't... Uh, stack like other items like engines engines batteries they also don't stack uh you know i'll harvest that battery um when i can i don't want to i don't want to harvest it now because i'm going to be running around with those with the lead parts and I actually would like to be empty for this so i've got everything i need i've got some ammo lots of ammo uh food drinks Everything's good. Oh, and I can't remember if this was in the last episode. I found this beast. Look at this thing. It's so awesome. It's like got major firepower. And it's only level one. See, it does 99 damage. It carries 90 rounds. It fires like crazy. Really fast. It's brilliant. Uh, would love to get a level 6 of this, so to deal massive damage, but I'll have to research that, I'm sure. And from my uh, points in researching, so I'm working on pushing intellect at the moment. I only need two more intellects. And building up a lot of the research in this area. Mm, so, what did I max? I've maxed fortitude, and now I'm busy with intellect. And I've got a lot of books, picked up loads of books, and... Lots of books that have pushed these things along, but still, I don't think I've got enough to build the motorcycle. That's what I really want. Yeah, you see, I don't have enough to build the motorcycle yet. I'm close, 38 out of 45, so it's another seven uh, of the vehicle books. 
Yeah, you bought that ammo, man. We need that when we come back. Okay, now I want to see if I can show you guys a horde from this from this add-on. Oh, one thing with this add-on, you have to disable that um, anti-cheat software. So I, I'm playing by myself. I mean, I'm not playing with other players, so I've disabled it. Actually, decided to do that after speaking to my cousin about it. <laughs> we were chatting about it the other day, and he was like, "Yeah, oh, you're playing by yourself. Why worry about cheating? And he's completely right. So let's do this. See where we've got our quests. I've got a tier 2 infestation. That's quite far away, though. The power quests that I need to do at night. And a tier 1 clear. Uh, let's head to the tier 1 clear. And I'm sure I'll find a horde along the way. It's back there. Okay, then I'm going to leave my door open here so that I can get in and out easy. Now, I haven't automated that yet, but that'll come. Got my spikes all around my base. Okay, let's go look for a horde. They're like r randomly around. I find them by the city area the last time. Uh, but let's, I want to go. Ooh, I did not repair my bike. That is a bit dangerous. Let me repair my bike first. Because, yeah, 40%, uh, it's not a good place to be. I prefer to have a higher repair level on the bike. A much higher repair level on the bike. Just grab a quick repair kit. What's it? Uh, right click. No, not drag. Right click, right click. Oh man, where is your memory? And let's just refuel it as well. Oh, I need to harvest some cars. I'm running low on fuel here. There we go. I used up all the fuel. Oh, I very much need to harvest some cars. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to harvest some cars, get some fuel, and hopefully find a horde along the way that's just wandering about. It also affects animals, so like animal areas you'll get like much more animals as well. But also not everywhere, like random locations, there'll be like a little group of animals. also think that's a lot better. More realistic, I mean there should be a bunch of animals herding. Not just one one random deer by itself just wandering about. There should be like much more in this sort of situation. You'd expect to see like herds of deer and stuff. They can outrun the zombies, so they should be running around in their in their pet in their dozens. Okay. Let's go up here. Uh, it would be nice if I get a random horde at this spot. But there's a car. And I need you because I need fuel so badly. My flaming wrench. Can you please get some fuel out of this? This car's probably got no fuel left. Probably been picked clean. No fuel. Okay, but I also want to change to my radial view. I prefer that. And let's just drink up and eat up so that we are on top form. And then let's get back on it. See, I'm day 27. So my plan is I'm going to do another restore power mission when it's late. And then the rest of tomorrow is just going to be making bullets and maybe setting up some more traps, some more spike traps if I've got the time to build them. And then waiting for the horde to come. For the, the blood moon horde to come. Hmm. No cars. I saw cars that I've pre-harvested <laughs> the last time I ran through here. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to harvest cars in the in the snow biome. Here we go. Oh, don't be snowing, don't be a blizzard. Every time I come here, it's always a blizzard, and then you're like, your guy's freezing, your guy's cold, he's wet, you need to get out. And it's, oh. I'm not even going to bother harvest you. But those two, definitely. Oh, there's a whole bunch around here. Let's do it. Because I need fuel. Let's just dismantle this stuff. Yeah, you see? Oh, yeah, the fuel's coming in. Good, 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 good. Kind of wasting the food and the drinks now, but it's fine. I'll just have some more before I go into the, the quest house. Please have some fuel in you. No, it seems you've been picked clean as well. Just get the pieces, the metal parts and things. Yeah, that's all right. Can always use those metal bots. Gonna need the electric bots, a lot of that for all the automation stuff. Okay. Okay, let's drop this off with you. And in we go. Just clear this quest out quickly. And then I'll go find a hoard. I'm sure I'll find one. Ah, a chair for the collection. For the viewing deck. Nothing? No one woke up from that? Okay. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Break off the magnum. Because I aim so badly. There we go. I don't want to waste the bullet and then I end up getting hit. Okay, that's fine. Okay, don't really need anything in here. Was an empty pickup. A rotting fish pickup. Ugh. Some cool stuff, please. Anything? What do you have? Oh, some medicine stuff? Yeah, I'll take that. Armor pots. Down you go. Down you go. Oh. Hey, a bag. That's a mod I must look for. More bag drops. Bag drops are so rare. Yo, the bag drops are so rare. I haven't gotten a bag drop in a long time. Okay, uh, nothing back here really. Yeah, let me, let me use this amazingly potent rifle and you can see the stopping power of this thing. I uh, highly recommend getting this as soon as you can and researching to build the stronger one as soon as you can. That's what I'd like to do. Get the research up. Aha, uh -huh, I need those for my viewing area. Okay, let me just empty out cupboards and then go look for whoever is waiting for me. And that's it. Those are the chairs I want. Oh, leveled up. Love it. Somebody in here? No, nope. uh, must be in here then. Yes. Come. 
gotcha. It is a beast of a rifle. Fully automatic as well, it's crazy. It's empties out your ammo so quickly. That's why I'm building ammo back at the base so that I've still got some <laughs> for the horde knight. Yeah, some hidden stuff. Okay, and nothing around me here. Nicely done. I don't see anybody there. Wait, let me let me pick up all the stuff before I go running out and losing it. All the odds and ends, the little bits lying about. Can I reach it? Yes, I can. Without having to tunnel through the wall or anything crazy like that. Thank you. Yo, he just kept on coming. But I'm fine. I survived it. And I've killed it out. Awesome. Pick up all the stuff. Pick up all the stuff. Oh, no space. And I got a car book. Scrap, scrap, scrap. No, I'm not keeping any of that stuff. Uh, takes up space that I don't have. What's in my past end gas? It's close. Oh, another car book. And we close in on having the car books. <laughs> All good. Okay, now I really want to find one of those wandering hordes just to show everybody what I'm talking about. Yeah, let's just chuck all of that in there. Okay, let's go. There must be one on the way to the... No, not, not a one. Okay, let's go around the back here. Maybe there's one in, at the next city. Uh, like when I first put it on, I found rather quickly I bumped into one of these random hordes. Now, I thought I would have bumped into one already, but it's just like not happening. This is a good place for one, it's a city area. Populated, dense. Makes sense for there to be one here. Let's see. Just walking around the streets. No one? No one in here? Oh man, I really thought there would have been one in here. There's one dude. That's just one dude. Oh well. They really are around. I mean, I, I have had to fight with the group. There's a few random walkers, but not a, a, a horde that's clumped together. Let's see. Maybe there's something standing around by the actual crater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the side roads? No? Let's see. If not, at least I'll just go to the trader and complete his quest. No, no random horde around the trader either. And. 
let's just stop over there quickly go complete this guy's quest Hmm. Duct tape. Rather get a mod. A pod mod. Let's do a fetch and clear. Fetch and clear is always fun. You got to at least find something besides clear out all the zombies. Uh, what's the time? Seven and ten is when I Oh I better harvest because I need the fuel. Tens for the restore power. Okay, get it, get fuel, get fuel, we need it. Wish there's a way to just like siphon the fuel out and leave the rest of the car behind. Because maybe you don't always need to pick everything apart from the car. Shooting range. Clear this thing out. Nope. See, there's the restore power. Yeah, I'm going to go into the main city. There'll definitely be a ward in the main city. I uh, left one there the last time, I didn't take it out, so I'm sure there will be one there. Hmm. And oop, they'll be walking around here somewhere. Has to be. Just checking the side roads too because i drove around here a bit and i might have moved them about let's go back here and check man it's so weird there was a whole bunch of them here iron truck would you have... Whoa! Excuse yourself. I was trying to do something, man. That's fine. Oh, I've got a little abrasion. It's okay. No horde. The fire trucks may have a lot of fuel. Oh, no horde here. Let's check this side. Maybe they've wandered over here. This is most peculiar. I mean, I know the mod's on because I used it and I saw like a group just gathered waiting for me. Now there's a few here, but it's not like board numbers. There's three. And here's a bunch down the side here. Maybe I can gather them all together. Well, get my bike stuck for one. What is going on? Seriously, got my bike stuck. How did I do that? See, it's these little mistakes that get you killed in the zombie apocalypse. What?
turn around a bit. Come on. Just get over that. Okay, I'm gonna turn more. Oh man, now we're gonna pick everything up and I don't have enough space to carry it. No. Can't carry it. Not looking good. I don't know why I thought that'd be open. Okay, then there's only one thing to do. Gotta make a way out. Okay, there we go. Still no horde. There's a wolf. There's some walkers back there. Oh man, I was really hoping to show you a horde. Okay, now it's blizzard time in the snow biome. Makes it harder to see. Oh, wait a second. No, I'm not going to be in the right place for the restore power quest. Oh, I need to go drop my stuff off though, because I'm too fully loaded. Maybe we can find a horde on the way back to base. Well, there's a chicken. Just one though. you I need you for your fuel and your books and there we go Let's refuel this guy. Oh jeez, they'd use them everything. Let's see maybe if there's down by the... I'm gonna stick, stick to the road. And then I'll see if maybe there's like a random horde wandering around by these buildings here around the lake that I usually go past. I have to get back to base directly because I'm going to be too late for the for the restore power quest again. I keep missing it. And I really want to try and get it in before it's uh, day 28. There's a solitary deer. It was so nice to just come over the hill and see like a random horde just cruising around. I don't know, maybe, maybe my fiddling with the settings has done something like delaying the, the horde generation or something. Oh, that would be disappointing. I don't know what I did. I'll just have to go back to default. Oh, that's some reflection on that water. Yeah, up we go.
Back we go to base. Oh well, it must be out there somewhere, just not near where I am. Get this done. Get the empty out. Everything. Going to start making my own fuel, I think. I'm going to start mining for oil shade or slade, whatever it was called. I think it's slade, oil shade, slade. Can't remember now, but yeah, then I have to start doing that mining for sure. So I'm using up the fuel faster than I can salvage it from the cars. Oh, they need another box for mods. Got a lot of those radiator things. Don't use them. Got a lot of those pots as well. Don't use them either. Uh, hang on, I didn't even realize. That's a level 5 spear. And you can take one more. What could you take? What could you take? Uh, weighted head mod. The blade. Totally the blade. No? No, conk on there. Because I've got the burning shaft mod on, that's why. Okay, so let's take a few things and see what works. Ah, uh, rad remover. Maybe the rad remover. Yeah, let's go with the rad remover. That's actually useful. Drop off that and equip my new level 5 spear. Amazing. Drop off that, drop off that, and drop off some corn. Uh, these guys are still crafting away. Drop off the food, drop off the drinks. This stuff, what do I have here? Uh, not too many things. I can probably target drop this. It's not so all over the place. Here we go. Use me and the waters. Now let me add to my sitting area. What chairs do we have here? Okay, it's an no, it's another one of those. Oh, how nice is that? It's the cheap seats. Here we go. Do another row when I get them. Oh well, didn't get any hordes. I'm sure I'll get it on the next run. Definitely going to go after the restore power quest next. But um, you'll need to wait for the next episode for that. Sorry, I didn't get to show you the horde mod. I'm actually going to reinstall it for next time so that it completely works. Guaranteed. So you can actually see it when I'm heading to the restore power quest and after that it'll be the horde night itself 
Uh, so please do like the video and leave some comments and tell me what you think. And if you haven't already subscribed, you know, on the sides here, you're going to see some cards to other videos on my channel. Really do appreciate if you go check them out. Hopefully uh, you like that as well. <laughs> For more seven days, we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.